Alright, another day down, another bunch of stuff done. We did not get to, uh, fin to uh, helping all of the fields. Oh, it's raining. That's gonna help. That's gonna help. We didn't even have time to water all the field. What's with people in the the cute? Oh, by the way, um, the reason why we couldn't get to all the fields is because we took a few hours to get, uh, in case the 3,000 isn't enough for you. Here, let me, uh, give you a visual descriptor. Yes. <laughs> we got mo- Okay, perfect. That's growing. Uh, this is growing up very, very fast, very well. Okay, okay. Well, I mean, 17% per day, so I'll take about three more days, maybe. That is almost all done. Uh, shouldn't... And, oh, right, right. We have... We should have enough lumber for everything that we'll ever need. So I put the uh, that away. Also, I checked all of the items that have to be shipped in this game. And the total count of items that you can ship is 982. At least that was my count. And with the amount of items that we have shipped, again, I count all of those, and the amount of items that we put in the shipping box that had been unshipped, uh, we now only have 350 more items to send out. But we only have to send out 350 more items. Uh, call the airship. Oh, right, right, right. Shoot. Unfortunately, I need to go down until I find my tools. Um, joystick? Joystick? Controller disconnected? Okay, sure, fine. And yes, we literally need both of these. Even though we don't really need to mine or axe our way through anything more. Uh, if we, but if we go to the summer field, we'll find that these are just flat out in the way, and that's why we need to get rid of them. Just because they're in the way. And then we can go do this. Oh, come on! And then we can go do this and deal with all that. So yeah, these two fields both need a blue potion, so boom and boom. And then we can just keep harvesting. Oh right, it's been so long since I've actually been harvesting while like, on recording. I forgot, I'm supposed to hit alt when I get those uh, bonuses. Um. I guess I'll keep them in my inventory for the time being, just to be on the safe side of things. Yeah, we still have 56 million. Uh, if we look closely, one of the items in here is protein, which was on sale. And I was like, okay, do I want to just buy one just to ship it out, just to get that one extra item shipped? And I did. Also, do pendant raises attack for farm tools. Sounds really useful. Uh, considering what this run was, and if you want to do a more fun version of this run, I'd say limit it to only using farm tools as weapons, upgrade them as much as you want, and if you want to go with, like, no gear, if you want to use a do pendant, like, whatever, if you want to use, like, accessories for accessories sake, like, it's up to you what you consider fun. That wasn't... Yeah, I don't know what's up with my left Joy-Con. Uh, I think I have a spare left Joy-Con. Yeah, I have a spare left Joy-Con sitting in this cupboard. I might have to change up. Where's the fields? Okay, okay. Let's bring out what corn we have left. Also, yeah, let's do the harvest, and then we can put uh, more stuff on everyone. But yeah, if you notice, we're getting like two pineapples at a time instead of like three, and I'm not sure why. But it's kind of fine because we don't really need to sell pineapples for money. We're getting money from 
mostly turnip miracles. We need to the pineapples uh, specifically for the uh, runies, the extra skills and the extra attributes. Speaking of which, 15k attack. We haven't eaten yet today. We just have 1100 vitality and like over 900 int. I think, yeah, we need like 10,000 vitality in order to make the final boss fight easy. Um, so that's going to be a real challenge for that. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Does this whole field need blue? This entire field just needs blue. So now I need to go and buy more corn and more uh, blue. Yeah, honestly, just buy a whole lot of blue. Alright, how's the health of the field? This one could use a bit more. So again, let's go buy more uh, Formula B, because we're just a tad short. Season nutrients, please. Thank you. I don't know. Let's buy fifty-four. Oh right, right. We have a uh, decent walking skill, don't we? One hundred and seventeen walking. Level eighty-nine. Uh, sleeping, 98 eating. We're going to start getting some nice health boosts soon. Bye. Okay, see ya. Oh, right, right, right. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. So I was flowing into this device so we can stand here endlessly. The switch. Power device? What are you talking about? It's like, oh, it's very specific things. You understand. Your character doesn't, but you do. So here's the real question. Do we want to buy a lot more? We have almost 100 million G. I say try to hold out. Uh, we should try to hold out on the more like golden turnip miracle, or whatever, until we can get... Um, Level 10 golden turnips, and then we can go with that. Is it risotto like a higher end recipe? Oh, by the way, here you go. Yeah, that's the thing. Every day, just talk to Doug, buy some rice, and give it to him. He was stuck at like three before for like the longest time. Yeah, the highest is still only like seven. Uh, but yeah, I need to get Doug up and that's gonna take another like week or two in game. I mean, we have the time for that, I suppose. Uh, yeah, you're here. What do you have right now? Also, yes, material stone is nice. Let's buy a couple. Wait a second. What do you mean we haven't shipped out a basic hammer yet? Thank you very much. Okay, fine, I'll buy one. And I'll fill up the rest of my inventory with material stone. This takes a moment. Thank you very much. Okay, there we go. Please come, please. Please come again. Wait a second. Where did she get that pair of glasses? So let's go here and say boom, 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 boom. At this point, I almost might as well just ship the pineapple seeds as well. Hammer.
All right, perfect. And then we can just throw a whole bunch of material stone into here. Uh, whatever we want, really. We don't necessarily have to do it now. Uh, what we can do now, however, you can see we have 3,800 princess points. And yes, I do plan on farming princess points once all the rest is said and done. Because in order to buy shops, we just flat out need fishing points. Fishing points. Fishing points! Princess points! I do want the new storage box, but it's really mostly useful for the buy bulk of lumber or material stone thing that we were just doing. Uh, increase the bookshelf size. Like, why? We can expand the room. I mean, why not? That's 200 of the 10,000 material stone total that we'll need. Expand the room again. Oh, wait, we don't have the princess points. New fridge. Yeah, I'm hoping to get the material stone up to 10,000. We have a decent amount, as it stands. New bookshelf. Um. Okay. Tourist 997 still. Also, I miss her. Yeah, keep choosing like the new options. And eventually, he'll be like, Hey, have you heard of Rune Prana? Why don't you go to Rune Prana and do stuff? I'm like, I'm busy with things, okay? I'm at a nice point in my game where I don't have to stand around and like do stuff like go to Rune Prana. Instead, I can throw material stone at a shipping box. And yes, all of this like pineapple grinding farming stuff. Okay, so the main field should be good. The summer field is acceptable. Let's go spring. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. That's right. We needed corn. We needed corn. Okay, so we still have some corn left. Let's go back to the winter field because I th think that it looked like it needed more. Winter field. Yes, it needs more. Again, anything less than 75 gets the full advantage of having corn used on it. Oh, apparently, also, I've mentioned D&D uh, &D stuff with my family. Apparently my little brother is, like, so excited to play. Hold up. My mod had turned off for a little bit. Okay, no fields are like drastically low, but there is a thing where I, I might as well just use the blue on every field. Right, I could use another seed just to ship it out, just to see if like the store will start selling uh, level 1 seeds. Or maybe just to hold a level 1 seed, just for the sake of, hey, uh, in case something does happen. And there's, I don't know, a twister tomorrow morning? In fact, I should just, like, save and sleep now, uh, just to make sure that there won't be. Gosh, I can't believe we're already down to, like, just triple digits with all of this. Oh gosh, that field. Alright, call the airship. Let's go... Don't spring, summon, winter. Let's go to autumn. Yeah, I kind of want to go into Room Factory 5 completely blind and, like, experience... Because the thing is, whenever there's a medium, like a book or a TV show or whatever, I like 
experiencing it in the way of like, say, uh, I'll give an example, like with Ruby, there's stuff that uh, the crew who makes it say about the, that they go and say about the show, uh, but outside the show, it's like, oh, well, this character is trans, like this character is this, and it's like, hey, that's great and all, but if that's not in the show itself, somebody watching this 50 years from now, uh, who's not going to, is not going to, like, go through the Twitter of the company who made it to see if they added stuff into the show that wasn't in the show, they're just going to be all like, I don't know this character is trans, because there's literally nothing in the show that says that. Like that whole J.K. Rowling saying, uh, post emptively, oh, by the way, Dumbledore was gay, uh, because I say so. It's like, really? It's like, oh, well, you just... Like, oh, I just decided that, and so now it's canon, and you can't uh, say that I'm against gay people ever again, because I'm going to, uh, yeah, like, claim this. It's like, like, that's not how it really works when it comes to shows. Like, if it's not, like, represented in the show, it basically doesn't exist. You can have a thing that's, like... Aha, uh -huh, like, spoiler, so-and-so character is gay, and then, like, in season 10, like, oh, hey, they have a boyfriend. It's like, oh, shoot. They were. But then that is a thing, like, person watching it 50 years later would see it's like, oh, season 10, the character has a boyfriend. Like, you know? Uh, yeah, these flowers are going well. This is... What am I growing here? Growing golden turnip and golden... Growing other golden things, and these two are growing well, and white flower is almost done. Let's go back here and chip off the axe and the hammer. Oh, hey, it's the room expansion. I can't meet. I can't go there though. Kind of wanna. Kind of sort of wanna. Yeah, sure, whatevs. Just kind of, sort of. Yeah, the problem is I only have like three platinum, so I can't make a lot of stuff. But the, this is three more unshipped things. Turn our toll from 350 down to uh, 346 things. It's like Ruby has a whole thing that's like, oh, well, Ironwood Seblance is actually this, but just watching the show will never ever tell you that. It's like, oh, so it basically isn't then. Okay, I think you can only use the outfit if you are, like, as your original character. So anyway, how well do I fight against this? Okay, so if I drink a pineapple juice, how well would I fight against Ambrosia? I wonder if you set it so like, it's like you don't level up, if that stops uh, NPCs from leveling up too. Or if it's literally just your own character. Uh, pineapple juice. Here we go. Yeah, I think, yeah, one was uh, blue flower, the other one was red thorns. So in about three days, I'll be able to finish off the harvest of blue flower thing. And it'll take a lot longer to get the other thing. Oh, nice! I can I can one-shot the first boss! Okay, I want to get at least a thousand princess points, but I think I'm just gonna farm this boss for a little while. It's, you know, 20 princess points each. Or it takes about this long to get them. You know, if I'm farming princess points anyway, I might as well just walk through town. And, of course, I kind of want to go and, like... Uh, farm Arthur some more for some more things but like he's not going to sell uh, blue green or yellow whatever he's not going to sell crystal flowers that I don't already have had like he's not going to sell crystal flowers unless I've already grown them like that's just a thing 
Uh, yeah, sometimes when going to visit his little shop, I do notice that there are, like, openings in the uh, items he's selling. So the only, my only explanation for that is like, oh, that's supposed to be, like, a crystal, an emery flower or something. But it's not being sold because I don't have access to that yet. Also, ouch. Also, I should really check, uh... I'm sorry for pausing again, um... Okay, Sylvia Plain. It's a zero hill. So it's B2 and then there's a B1 area. Ready Poison is only available during Friday. So there's a certain day of the week when you can go and access certain things. And they are, okay, that's fine. So you basically have to know what the day of the week is in order to get stuff. So we can't get the Medi Poison in this room because the trees have been rearranged, but we can go this way and we can go this way. And it's just, you know, another pond where we can go fishing and stuff. So we've got the fields all topped off uh, for now. We've decided that we don't particularly want to keep going fishing. Or, no. Keep, yeah, farming uh, Arthur. What we do want to do is farm this boss, because the more that we do, the more princess points we'll get, because... Oh, shoot. Now it's this boss, which takes a... Which might actually take a few attacks. Oh, wait, shoot. Also, we can kill 100 enemies per day to get up to 100, uh... Up to 200 princess points per day. So, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, actually. Nope, that doesn't count. Fourteen. See? Just like this. Kill 100 basic enemies to get 200 princess points. I think that was 15. Yeah, right now I am going to be uh, farming, I don't know, grass and stuff. Because if it is true, and I'm going to need to have 50 monsters, which is, you know, a, a pretty big investment. Actually, I'm, I kind of want to farm Arthur just for the sake of getting extra, uh, yeah, extra fodder. And get another, like, you know, 150,000 fodder. Like, as you do. Just by shipping stuff out, we should be getting princess points. Yeah, shipping stuff out, uh, talking to people, which we should be doing anyway, so let's stop this. All right, let's go around the town and t just generally talk to people. Right, of course. And then we need the giant golden potato and ship one of those out and like keep all the rest because hey, that's going to be good. And oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, it's not dog, it's Leon who likes. He 
Here we go. Yeah, we had a level 10 one. We really should have shipped it out. stays at the inn. I need water. Yeah, I needed to drink some water else I was going to get sick. Yeah, see? 11.57. It's one room point per person. <coughs> I don't know if that counts uh, Barrett and Raven, but... Maybe four. 21 so about you know we talked to everyone that's another 20 room points where is oh wait Leon is uh so I feel like she's still at the castle right because it's supposed to have been supposed to just like sit around for a year again it would be interesting if they actually made it so you had to sit around for a year. Uh, like, I know, like, so many people have complained about that, so it wouldn't have actually been worthwhile to do, but it would have been interesting if they had done it that way. Little soldier. No. So anyway, uh, I'm going to take this as an opportunity right, of course. I'm going to take this as an opportunity to put a lot more Okay, sorry. Just concerned about that one little thing. Yeah, I'm going to just pick up all, all a lot of the rest of this material stone and start throwing it into the uh, storage. So hold on a second. Well, we, well, we got some amount of stones in storage. Regardless, let's sleep and hope the morning treats us well. Okay, I don't hear a twister. I wish it were also real. Okay, okay. We changed to this, say. Both of these, almost done. That's working on it. This is, you know, size is growing. As it does. It's a nice, bright... Sunshiny day in the uh, wherever this game is set. Also, it's a day to harvest like a lot of pineapples, so I said let's all so go and uh, do that for a little while. I feel it should be good for like, I don't know, a few days. So let's do this then. Let's uh, harvest some pineapples until, I don't know when Arthur becomes available, 9 a.m. I will admit, I almost had a counter for like number of items that still need to be shipped. And I also kind of want to try to 100% complete this game. Like if I'm going to try to get all of my stats up to, uh, 
you know, 100,000 each, which, hey, our vitality is 1% of the way there already. Real who? It's only, what, 63 episodes in. At episode 6300, our vitality should be, uh, at max. That's how calculation goes. You know, probably by episode 6000. Yeah, in order to... Because I had done the calculations, remember, and we needed... 80,000 Intelligizer in total in order to get our, you know, intelligence, like, all the way up. Um. Like, even with all the skills maximized, we'd still need another 80,000 after that. Uh, but there is a place where you can supposedly farm Intelligizer. I guess I'm going to have to, like, actually do the, uh, not save scumming, because you, I don't think you can really save, you can't save scum those. I'm going to have to, like, check on that to see if that snowman in Rune Prana actually does drop Intelligizer on some days. And if so, just go and farm Intelligizer, because, hey, uh, if I can get what, 100 of an item over the course of a day of farming it in uh, that regard, like I did with the heart drinks a couple of times now, then I should be able to get, you know, a... Yeah, 100 Intelligizer. Right? Yeah, because I was able to get enough heart drinks to raise my max HP by 1,000. 100 Intelligizer, however, is, you know, only 100 in our- oops, I hit the skill button, there we go. So I need 800 days of farming to get that, like, all the way. Yeah, uh, look inside. Actually, you know what, I'll keep a few- I'll keep, like, three stacks of seeds, just in case, but- Honestly, you don't really need to have more than those. Uh, by the way, I was talking earlier. Little brother is super excited to uh, finally play D&D. &D. Uh, apparently next week, we're just going to play... Uh, yeah, little brother, uh, our mother, and myself. He has my half-brother, we share a mom, but not a dad. Uh, his dad and uh, his half-brother, my step-brother, well, one of my step- Okay. Well, one of my step-brothers uh, is supposed to play with us and we made a character from him and everything. But if he doesn't wind up playing, then we'll have to, you know, reconfigure things. And it's annoying because we had planned for a party of four characters. And it was like, if you don't know uh, D&D, &D, uh, a party of uh, four PCs is the easiest to, like, route out encounters for. So who knows, maybe I'll have both of them play as two characters so they can get more of a feel of that. They didn't seem to might so much earlier. Maybe Sean will come in and then... Yeah. Who knows? Who knows what will happen? Yeah, maybe the uh, other brother will actually be uh, good to go and we'll all be able to go and play together and that will be great. Uh, that's something I'll have to figure out in the future, but if we only have two PCs, that means I'll have to modify all of the encounters I've already planned to work for two PCs, like... And I planned out enough encounters already to get them up to level two, because I figure... Uh, even if it takes... Even if the unthinkable happens and it takes them, like, 15 minutes to get through and reach level two, and it's like, oh, we want to keep playing. It's like, well, it'll take some time to upgrade them to level two, and from that point on, if the game is still going on at that point, which it probably won't be, knowing them, 
they'll be able to like improvise the rest of it and just throw in some more encounters and stuff. Uh, also, today sh uh, should be a day of playing lots and lots of games and getting a nice backlog of recordings done. I'm just playing Room Factory specifically because I've been enjoying it, although I should be doing other games, but you know, it's it's not necessarily two videos a day minimum. It's just one video a day minimum. Uh, as evidenced by the end of uh, August and how there were two days with only one video apiece because uh, I didn't have enough uh, Room Factory pre-recorded for those last two days. My bad, but like, oh well. Really? Didn't see it coming. I still got some video out. It's like, oh, well, you didn't do your Rune Factory video day minimum. It's like, yeah, go talk to, uh, go to talk to my stepdad about that, who said there'd be three weeks when it was actually, like, uh, 23 days. Actually, more than 23 days, because I planned for it, like, 23 days, when it was actually, like, 25 days and closer to four weeks. And, like, three and a half weeks or like four weeks and not just three or you know go back in time to when I was like cramming in lots and lots of episodes and say oh by the way uh I don't know because I think I did like two extra episodes and I didn't plan uh, more beyond that so say instead of two extra episodes make it four extra and then everything will be good they are but hey, I was able to film something, or rather, not something good, but you know, something. And also, every single one of those uh, blue big runies that I get is like one less intelligizer that I'll need over all of the 80,000. So, I do... Want, I do kind of want to do the calculations and just to know like how many uh, how many intelligizer I will need now because like how many of those uh, blue runes I've walked into and grabbed so far because there's probably at least 100 of those right I mean my int is almost a thousand as it stands which is pretty good honestly I could probably get through Leon Karnak now, if I wanted to. Uh, oh, right, shoot, Arthur. Um, okay, so I can't get Emery Flowers from him. That has already been confirmed as not a thing I can do. Oh, hey, show me seeds and groceries. So I want some rice. Okay, you can actually just literally buy wine from here and I somehow never wound up shipping it. Like a magnifying glass I never actually shipped. Oh good, you have corn. Let me just buy... a little bit. Okay, okay. Hold on, Doug. I need to buy stuff. Shoot, you have no turnips. I'll have to buy stuff, I guess, tomorrow then. For a turnip miracle, because that's the best dish I can make. Arthur, where are you? Oh, there you are. Arthur, you come with me again. Hello. Hello. Yes. It took you a year to say, yeah, we're fine without her. Frankly, I just kind of want to... Oh yeah, I... Didn't I do the calculations? And it was like, a hundred... Yeah. In order to buy... Because we could just buy the 80,000 intelligizers that we need to get you know, from 20,000 to 100,000 uh, intelligence. But in order to buy the 80,000 Intelligizer for, you know, 
two million a piece, it's about like 160 trillion. Like, yeah, two million times 80,000. Thousand million. Okay, 160 billion, not trillion, but it's still like an obsessive amount. Okay. But if we do, say, the 80,000, if we buy all 80,000, we can't even buy a full 80,000, right? Because our storage at max can hold 720 times 9, about 6,000. So we could buy, if we had the money for it, we could buy quite a lot of them. And that would be nice. Uh, I'm going to write a diary. Hold up, hold up. I'm going to put stuff in the fridge. I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to save and I'm going to deal with... Uh, I'm going to go and farm on Arthur for a couple more in-game hours and I... I'm going to come back and show you what I got. As it turns out, uh, there are a few recipes in here that we just don't have yet. Oh, also, I went and bought every seed that's only level 9. Uh, just for the record. Okay, so what do we have here? We have flowers. Cool. But we also have... Uh, yeah, I want to get all of the, like, level 9 crops up to level 10. And I also want to start making giant versions of every crop, because, like, seriously, why not? Okay, so it's not in there. Is it in here, then? Here we go, here we go. Boom, boom. Uh, where's the next part? We need... No? Eggplant. Come on, eggplant. Here you go. We have some eggplant. So it's white crystal, white crystal, eggplant, and that's powder and spore. So let's just, I don't know, use a spore for powder and spore. And then it's uh, liquid. And, okay, so we need a liquid. We were able to buy glue. Okay, 3964. But that is the recipe. It just costs, you know, more than what we have. So let's do this again. And let's also do... No, not with that. Um... This is only level 8. What do we have? There we go. Boom. 39.68, was that it? Yeah, 41.86, we can do this. Make some medicine. Do not use recipe. It did not send everything back to here, so we need to crystal, crystal, eggplant. Powder and spore and a liquid. 39.64. We can make our own intelligencer. Eh? Intelli or we could just use a big white crystal. Oh my gosh. All right, we're gonna have to make like at least one of each of those. So we don't have any more uh, white crystal flowers, however. I do want to quickly check up on this. Sell for seventeen twenty-five, buy for you know two million. But this is level four. Let me just see if a higher level intelligizer by level four does anything. So we're at nine eighty-six. Eat. Nope, nine eighty-seven doesn't do anything special. Well, hi. Speaking of special things, let's go to here. Hi, what's up? Let's buy a few flowers because we buy them for 80,000 each, so it's about 160,000 for an intelligizer instead of 2 million. So you could pay 
Eight million for one hundred of these flowers. You see what I'm getting at from here though, right? We can buy, say, 500 flowers or so. And just boost our intelligence up by crazy amounts. So let's buy, I guess, 260. Take up another 12 million. There's a cooking contest going on tomorrow. Uh, let's go here. And just start throwing all of this in here. Now the only problem here... Okay, hold on. We'll save here. Okay, the only issues are... We still need 130 total eggplant. Now, you have to be selling eggplant. Oh yeah, you are. <laughs> we can buy 97 extra eggplants. Like now. And that's the 130, so we can make 130 Intelligizer with just what we have available to us. And of course we could have made more. That's also a thing that we could do. Okay, Raven, spores, thank you. I mean, it's almost like I planned all of this out before I started recording. Uh, 128 extra spores, okay, thank you. The only issue now is that we need liquids. Yeah, powers and spores, but that's more expensive. We still just need, like, liquids and... Hey, Arthur, sell me some cheap liquid, okay? Unfortunately, milk doesn't count as a liquid. And if we go to here, we see... No liquids. <laughs> Unfortunately. However, I think one of those stores does sell liquids normally, right? I also kind of just want to keep buying, like... I also want to just pause real fast and buy, say, 500 or so and just make, you know, an absolute mess ton of Intelligizer. And then we can boost our intelligence to obsessive levels because, hey, we have the white crystal. We have the intelligence we need. So I'm going to go and use up all of my money on ingredients. Uh, the only issue is that I will have to wind up... Oh shoot, if I reset I lose all of this stuff. Uh, and the stores won't be open for that much longer. Okay, okay, hold on. Powders and liquids, no? Or uh, liquids, whatever, no. You don't sell any of that. But you do sell more eggplants. So I'm going to go and do that really fast, uh, basically fill up all of my inventory with as much stuff as I can, and, and with that we've got what we need. Uh, was, I think I was supposed to say something different. And like, done, whatevs. Uh, we got enough to make 391 Intelligizer, and yes, Double Blood is a liquid, um, it's the first liquid that we found that we could actually buy. I'm surprised I managed to find, like, most of the ingredients to make the thing, like, all at once. Okay, so now there's an issue of I kind of need to harvest some pineapples, which we don't have here anymore. So I already harvested all the pineapples at this field because I didn't realize I was going to be getting Intelligizer, but I don't think... No, that, that's a close statement. I just don't think. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Um, let's go to the summer field, because we have at least a few pineapples there, like, every day, right? Um. Okay, let's go back. And make some medicine. And let's... How many... In oh, right. You want to use Fire Dragon Ash. Why? No, use powders. Okay, we can make like 24 at once. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to make some Intelligizer. Hold up. Let's do that again. Again. Shut up. And stop trying to use 
fire drake and ash. Let's just make another 24. Don't worry, I have a plan. And it's going to work as soon as this stops wanting to use fire drake and ash. Yeah, 39, 36. Oh no, we can make 25. What's stopping us from that? 4,100. Alright, you don't have the room for, for this because these all want to stack up. Do you see this thing go down to like question marks while I was doing that? Anyway, let's do this. Go down to half health. Let's do it again without the ash. Thank you. We should just take the ash and just like dump it somewhere so it stops trying to use it all. I mean, okay, here. Yeah, let's just, uh, you know, we're playing with pills, that's all. Not a big deal, not a big deal. We just have, you know, a grand assortment of pills. Um, not enough space? No, there is enough space. Alright, perfect. Whoops. We'll make all of these. And now that I have them all in my inventory like this, let's just take these. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, right, right here. And then here we go. Ta da! And yeah, we can make three hundred ninety one intelligizers. Uh, we do a full heal by talking to Zhao Pai. Use the bath. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. I mean, if you already have the recipe memorized, you don't have to. Uh, you don't have to learn it anymore. Yeah, or we could just get big white crystals, which. I don't know if we can buy from these from Arthur or Raven, but we definitely can't buy from the store, but we can buy white crystals. All the stuff for this we can just buy from the store. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, where's the dragon ash? Yeah, it wants to hide it now. Okay, okay. Make some medicine. Intelligizer. Dragon Ash. Okay. Let's say no to that and see what it tries to use next, because even if it wants to use, like, poison powder, that's fine. And now it wants to use spore, that's good. Alright. Now let's go back to the storage box. Let's just start depositing all of these intelligizers that we got. I, th I guess we could ship out, like, one. Just for the sake of it having been shipped. And at this point, we only need to ship out 332 more items. Also, the bath fully healed us, so let's go and make 75 more intelligizers. Okay, thanks.
25 and 50. Because remember, we still have the effects of the T on us. All right. Eight, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 24, 25 extra spaces. Perfect. Okay, so here's the big problem now. Or at least the big question. Okay, cool. We do have more magical potions. Perfect. Um. I'm just going to do some quick calculations here. 15,564 divided by 4. That would be 38.91 each. So, I say... Let's also grab... Sure, an antidote potion. Doesn't look like we have any lesser potions available to us at the moment. So, let's grab one of those then. So let's drink one of these, which heals us a little. Oh shoot, that didn't count as a meal. Did no, no, good. 4188. Overwrite the save. Really fast. Make some medicine. And if this doesn't work, we'll have to be separate. If this does work, then this is glorious. So, yeah, 57, uh, 100 health. We make that. Okay, cool, we still have some health left. And then we go in to drink one of these potions. Oh, wait. Why are we holding on to two pineapples? Over top, like, everything else. All right, perfect. And now we're gonna make some, uh, a little bit more medicine. At least until we have all 391 uh, intelligencers, uh, which we do now. Uh, whoops, whoops, whoops. So yeah, we have uh, some intelligence boosting uh, stuff. 291 of it. I mean, I'd say that's, uh, that's enough pills for a feast. Oh, actually, 390 because we put one in shipping. That's right. And we can put these two back up here. Uh, because, yeah, we were literally just using those for strats to get, like, stuff. Uh, we still also have to worry about the fields themselves. Okay, cool. We got some skill points, which is going to be enough for some of the watering. Uh, Autumn Field had nothing yesterday. No, no, nothing today, too. Alright, alright, call the airship. Actually, wait, hold on. Let's wait a diary entry right here, because I don't want to lose 390 intelligences. We're not going to, but I don't want to drop, just drop dead, you know? Also, I don't think we watered the Springfield all the way. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a case where we had, like, you know, go harvest a few pineapples, get the stuff, Get the uh, runes, then go back home, make some, make another stack, blah blah blah, keep doing that. Uh, but no, we literally just, we had a relaxed tea so we could make like 25 at a time, and we just kept uh, potioning our way through everything, and that's all we really had to do. So I say, first let's do this. So between 390 intelligences, oh by the way, we can just throw that back in there. 390 intelligizers and wait a second mm, 
no. Okay, that's right. Uh, we need to go and buy another 2800 material stone. But right, with all said and done, and considering that this episode is probably at around time anyway, I feel like I should end this episode and when I come back, uh, we're gonna be... That's fun. When we come back, we're going to have... There you go. A lot more intelligence. Yeah, we're going to take these pills to become smarter. Don't tell the, uh, don't tell the Olympic professionals, but... No, no, that's right. We were at 994. Why is the thing we increased two each? I'm not smart enough. Time for pills.